Hi, you guys. Welcome to our farm. It's second week of February, and we are getting ready to start our seeds for the year for our garden. We've been busy planning and getting all of our materials together. This corner of our living room is our seed central, and we've got our lights and our trays, and I'll be going through um, probably in another video, starting up some of our seeds. But I wanted to share with you the things that we're most excited about growing um, in this first round of seeds that we're gonna plant. Um, one of the things that takes the longest to grow on our farm is loofah. Now, you may recognize loofah here, something you buy in the store, maybe you've used it in the shower, but did you know that it's actually a plant We grew it here on our farm last year. We had two plants that did amazingly well and we got about uh, 15 loofah sponges out of that. And I've been using our loofah sponges um, as a replacement for sponges in the kitchen, washing dishes, cleaning our cast iron. And um, of course you can use loofahs in the bath um, when you are showering. Um, so I'm really excited to grow that this year. Like I said, last year we did two loofah plants. We grew um, just the regular gourd, loofah gourd plant from Baker Creek. This year, um, we're gonna try a second one also. That's the Thai Extra Long loofah. Um, so I'm excited to try this and to compare the outcome between the two varieties um, to see what might give us the best results. The other seeds that we're gonna be starting um, over the next few days and these are some of my favorites, are um, the tomatoes and peppers. So let me show you some of the varieties that we're excited about. I don't know if any of you have done these seed storage ideas um, where you take the photo cases from the craft store to put your seeds in. It works amazing but I haven't made labels yet, so it's kind of hard to find them sometimes. For our tomatoes, we are gonna be planting 40 tomato plants this year, um, 18 different varieties. We have um, an in-ground garden that we've been working on with the chickens to kind of till up and to fertilize, and we'll be getting that ground set up um, over the next month to plant our garden come late April, early May. So, one of our favorites from last year was Paul Robeson. So of course we're gonna be planting several of these um, to get some good slicer tomatoes um, that my husband loves, yummy BLTs. Um, we did Amish paste last year, didn't have great results with it. Um, so this year I'm gonna try Martino's Roma tomato um, and hopefully get a good sauce and canning tomato out of that. Um, I'm also very excited about this um, German pink tomato. Um, it'll be it's supposed to be really good for canning and I have become obsessed with our canned tomato sauce from last year. So I definitely want to get a good harvest um, to put away even more jars um, for next year. Another one that I'm very excited about is some of our cherry tomatoes. Here we have Brad's Atomic Tomato. Now, this is a grape tomato. Um, we grew it last year. We had okay results. The tomato itself tastes amazing, but we didn't get a lot of tomatoes off of the plant. So um, we're hoping that maybe this year with a different planting arrangements that maybe we can get a little bit better of a harvest. So we're gonna go ahead and give this another try. These tomatoes are from Wild Boar Farms, um, very well known and um, definitely a favorite amongst tomato growers out there. Um, after having such good flavor from the Brad's Atomic tomatoes, we decided to go for a couple more Wild Boar Farms uh, cherry tomatoes this year. Our girls love the cherry tomatoes. My husband, myself, we love the cherry tomatoes. So 
we really wanted to get several varieties um, to just for fresh eating when you're walking around outside and you want to try a tomato you just pick it off the plant and eat it so we also have um, the blueberries tomato and a blue cream tomato so these are both cherry tomatoes um, they're gonna have a little bit of a darker color um, and supposed to be really sweet and yummy so we'll see how those turn out um, we'll be planting these in the next few days next up that we're going to be planting this week is going to be our peppers now we have a really hard time growing sweet bell peppers uh, we've always had really good success with hot peppers and we've we don't eat a lot of hot peppers but we've always grown them just because we can and we use them a little bit here and there um, so I did just a bull nose pepper last year and it did okay I think I got maybe three or four peppers off of it um, so this year I'm gonna try something a little bit different uh, this golden cow wonder pepper uh, got pretty good reviews on the Baker Creek Baker Creek website um, so I wanted to give this a try I really want to try the Plabano pepper so that I can make a go at making my own chili powder so I'm very excited for that one and this one is a lilac bell pepper beautiful beautiful rich deep purple color um, that I think is gonna look amazing in our garden so I'm very excited for this one if for anything but the color and of course banana peppers because we might use banana peppers they'd be great for canning and um, I think that they'll taste pretty yummy as well now for our hot peppers um, we last year we did um, we tried to do Tabasco peppers think we'd make our own Tabasco sauce and um, we had a lot produced but um, not enough to make the sauce and so I think we're gonna pass on that one this year these fish peppers now these are really small peppers spicy and I don't know if you can see that but they are super like the leaves are variegated and they have like that stripes of yellow mixed in with the green um, a little bit of white on the leaves and the edges of the leaves as well beautiful beautiful ornamental plant um, the peppers were pretty good I used them a couple times um, when they produced but I definitely am going to be planting some of this mostly for the foliage and just how pretty the plant looks um, alongside some of the other items in our garden now our top producer in terms of peppers have always seemed to been jalapenos and last year we made cowboy candy for the first time and I can't wait for this summer because I'll show you guys how we made it but it is amazing it's so good we tried some with a little bit of cream cheese and some crackers delicious I've got some of the leftover cowboy candy sauce which is just the syrup that the jalapenos sit in and I want to make some wings with that and try it on some other things you could use it on nachos anyways the stuff is amazing it's not super spicy like you would expect it's very sweet um, after you let it sit for the 30 days or however long it is and it's just so good so we are really going to do a lot of jalapenos this year because we want a lot of cowboy candy so we decided to try well we decided to go back to the Craig's Grande jalapeno which we grew last year and I think is going to be really good that's what we made it our cowboy candy with this year it was delicious and then we also decided to try an orange spice jalapeno this one's going to be new to us there was a, a lemon jalapeno too at Baker Creek that I really wanted to try because I thought that would be good with um, some pineapple cowboy candy unfortunately Baker Creek was out of that so we went with orange spice um, and I'm very excited for the possibilities of what this flavor could bring to some of our recipes and again the last one I have here is a paprika pepper um, it's not too spicy it's more of like a smoky flavor um, the Hungarian paprika pepper this one did okay for us last year um, I think I got maybe four or five peppers off of it but I'm gonna try it again this year and see if maybe we can get enough that I can dry and make some paprika powder with um, for spices 
and if it doesn't work then at the very least I've used up my seeds and I can try something different next year. But we're going to try and see how it goes. garden we did last year. The six raised beds, uh, two rows of grapes. Still a work in progress. And we are going to expand out this way this spring. Right here behind the chicken coop will be part of our in-ground garden and just beyond that we will put up a 20 by 24 greenhouse. Hopefully we'll get that up here shortly. It's one of my neighbor's kids on their go-kart. We have 17 chickens. See if there's any eggs this afternoon. I want to do an egg. Go, go. There's no candy in the mouth. I want to open it. Hold on. Hold on, wait. Alright, ready? Let's lift it up. Go on this side. I found an egg. I found an egg. Oh, look what we got in there. Oh, look, we have our first <laughs> blue egg. I look at that. Egg. You found an egg? Wow. Oh, cool. egg. How awesome. Thank you. This is the blue egg. That's awesome. Yeah, the smaller one. It's blue, Mark. Well, it's a blue egg. <laughs> Don't look like blue egg. Oh, yeah. Eggs did we get, guys? How many eggs are we in about? Two. I got two. I got three. So we got five eggs. Here, you want to hold this one? Can you hold that one for a while? Wow, that's our most yet. I think I picked two this morning. Oh, wow. Wow. Where's the uh, blue egg at, guys? That is our first blue egg. around the coop he is the main reason that we have the fence up. That and the foxes. Here is the inside.
Anyways, I'm glad you stopped by today, and I hope you'll come back and check our videos out in the future. Um, we'll do some planting, some seed starting, and talk a little bit about what we do to get um, all of our food ready for our farm. Until next time, thanks for stopping by the farm.